Every sultan was moving west. He was going east. He was destroying the uh, Safavis, the Shia, Shi'is that were there, that from behind, they were always supporting the Crusaders. And he went there, he finished them. Then he came back. He was championing Islam and he defeated so many enemies that Abbasis at that time, they were not able to establish peace in that area because they already broken up into different families, different dynasties, different areas, and they were fighting with each other. And he was uniting. He stopped the Fidna over here, he defeated them. Then he gave them the power back and said, stop fighting, just unite. He was very strong, he was very sharp. He got the support from everyone also because he was very strongly religious. He did so many miracles. He was a friend of Allah. All the sultans were following sheikhs they were belonging to tariqat, some more than one tariqat. But the only Allah and their sheikhs were guiding them very strongly. So he was the one who defeated the Mamluks, you know, crossing the desert unheard of. They have to be a little bit crazy. They're crossing the desert, you understand? The generals are saying, the men are saying that they cannot do this. In his writing, he says, they're saying, Ya Sultan. He got off his horse and he started walking on the sand, running. He says, the Prophet is in front of us, don't you see? How can we stop? Word went to the soldiers, the morals were pumped up. Then with that prophetic himmet, they managed to take over. The order was already given now to the ruling Khalifa by the Prophet They say this is the one, next one who is going to carry it. The jubba was given, the uh, girdle, the sword, the belt of the Prophet put it, then he went. So the uh, Hilafat was then passed on to him and to the descendants of the House of Osman.